Hello Stepper, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator in the US and today I'm going to share with you a cards that I did live on Facebook and I absolutely love how it turned out so I decided to shoot a video for you too. Here it is, it's using the garden shed and the purpose behind this, it was many people that when they see a detail stamp they run away because they're not a fan of coloring. So today it's shared with you that you can use detail stamp and add the wow effect without coloring. So here is the one on watercolor and watercolor paper. It's my favorite one for this technique. So we will use watercolor paper. Here I did on regular Whisper White cardstock and I got this splatter in the back. That will be another video coming up uh, shortly on the splatter. I get tips for that. But today it's the clear background with marker. I'm using the F, I think F or E, one minute, the E clear block. Now the color choice that I'm using this, I'm going to do um, this one here but then I did another one also so we don't have to wait for dry. This is soft suede, sea foam, uh, not sea foam, sorry, seaside spray and pretty peacock. I like to start with the light color that would be the seaside. Now I'm going to use the fat tip, the brush tip and I'm going to leave a circle in the center because that's going to go in the brown so I'm going to come around here and I just color a bit around with the seaside spray. Now I'm going to come in the center again, the brush tip. This is soft suede. And the reason why you want to start with the lightest color, it's because that you don't want to touch the light color to the dark because that's going to, you know, mix the color on your marker. What you can do if that's the case, then just color on the side a bit to clean the tip of the marker. Now the outsides are going to be the darkest color and that's the peacock, a pretty peacock. So I'm just going to go around. I'm using water for the sprit. You can do it with uh, rubbing alcohol that dries super fast, but it won't spider web like the um, water. So that is the main reason why I use the water. I'm going to put my foam under this and um, I had an inky inky rag that I cannot seem to find at this time. So I just got, oh here it is and I'm telling you it's an inky inky rag. I'm going to put that over here and I'm using my spritz bottle that I get water in it. I go about 12 inch and I'm going to spritz this with water till it's pretty much covered. We're going to take this, put our piece of watercolor paper here and I'm going to turn this around and we're going to smash that right in the center here. I did many, and you can see how it's spider web, right? It's just, and keep a good impression on it, and keep it there. Now you wait, the watercolor, what I, watercolor paper, what I like about it, it's absorbed. Now we're going to lift straight up. Don't worry about that. Now you're going to take your inky rag. So now you understand why I get such a gross inky rag. If it's too much like that, you can, uh, you can bring it down so it run. Or you can take your rag and just tap a little bit. Not too much though. You don't want to take all the color. Now you can use the heat tool and dry that. And then we're going to do the stamping. So with the magic here, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to bring my stamparatus and we will, well, here we go. Let me get the stamp set here. And what I'm going to do, I like to put my pad in the back. Let's, okay, I got this one here. I done in this color. Gray granite, Bumerdo Bay, uh, Balmy Blue and 
uh, old olive. The one in the back was Pierre Pizzazz and just uh, the um, the pool party. It was not dark enough in here. Voila. I went with this color here. So I'm going to have it all listed on my blog right below. going to put this right in the corner. Right there. I'm going to put my image about where I want it. My stamp. Keep it right in the corner. I don't use the the magnet. Sometimes I use it, but it's just I find it easier without the magnet, to be honest. We're going to close this. Lift this up. And I'm using Memento ink. Uh, if it's not dry all the way, really, you want stays on. But um, I like to use Memento. This is personal choice. I'm going to make sure it's in the corner. If it's curled a bit, what you can do, this one curled a bit, you can uncurl it. I'm looking, oh, I got it right here. You can use a bone folder. Here we go. That's a bit better. Now we're going to close this right in the corner, put some pressure on this, and then I'm going to stamp it a few times. See, we got a good image, but I want even more. So that's why I like to use the Stamparatus, because I can come back over and over till I get a deep image of this. One more time, and I think we're going to call it good. So you see, you can use in all different color, whatever you prefer. I absolutely love the one in the, the Seaside Spray and Pretty Peacock there. Here we go. I think just a little bit right at the top here. Here we go. And then we're going to call that good. So you can see with the Stamparatus, you can come over and over and over. Voila. Now that I got this done, can I see how this marbleize very good here? I'm going to finish this card too and it will be posted. Now for this one, I pre-cut a piece of cardstock that measure four and a quarter by 11. So you cut on the long way. You're going to score at two and three quarter and five and a half. Fold and fold. Now let me bring my, you want to reinforce this. Now for the inside, it is five by three and um, five by three and three quarter. And the reason why I like a little bit smaller than a regular uh, sheet, usually I put five and a quarter by four, it's that way it gives me more space to in case if I'm not just right on the front cover there. So I'm going to put that there and I will stamp a greeting or like these here. Just, I'm going to, just from the same stamp set. Now for this one, oops, I had something dirty on my hand or on my... Here we go. I don't know what I had there. Now this one here measure. This is Bermuda Bay. Measure five and a quarter by four. And the piece that the watercolor paper that we just done, that measure uh, five by three and three quarter, like my inside. Now we're gonna put this at the front. I choose not to put a greeting in the front because I thought it was pretty the way it was. I didn't want no distraction. Et voila. Now I'm going to use my silicone mat. Put that there and I'm going to put, don't go right at the top because you know you get about a quarter inch there. I'm going to put a few uh, strip there. Make sure on the side it's no adhesive. Now on this side it's going to be here. It needs glue, not over here. I'm going to turn that around and I'm going to put two strip there. Now we're going to remove this. Keep this close and now I can align that good. So you see why the back inside I didn't want the five and a quarter by four because in case I would have to be so precise. Now I'm going to put that here. Et voila! I just have to put my greeting. And what I like about these uh, Z-Fold card, it's when you put it on your desk, 
you see the inside and you see the outside too so I absolutely love it so now here we go so you got in both colors and then I will finish this one even if you get some splatter like this one when I leave I must have dropped something don't worry about that it's just add character and you see how wiggle it is on the side that's when you put the pressure in it's spider web that's what add even more um, what can I say some um, interest uh, to the card so here it is I will have all supplies the color I use for both of them well I'm gonna have all three here and then down the road next week or so I will have how to do uh, the splatter in the back so it's, this is it for today and again for shopping 24 7 anyone in the US you get the link right below to uh, come to my blog Thank you so much and have a lovely day my friend. Bye bye for now.